Hello friends, in this program of C language, I am going to show you how you can perform the search operation based on an array. Well, there are basically two different types of search can be performed. One is a linear search and the other one is binary search and this is this particular program is on linear search. As you can see in line number three, what I have done over here is I have created one function by the name linear where I am passing an array as a parameter and there's another parameter that is the search item okay and this particular function is going to return me a value and this particular value which it will be returning uh, it will tell me that whether the search item has been matched or not and if it has matched then how many times the item is present in the given array that will also be mentioned inside this particular variable okay so let's get into the program so here I declare an array of size 5 and few of the uh, variables are there the first variable is a counter and uh, it is going to iterate uh, through the array whereby it will be taking input from the user let, let me do you let me do one thing let me run the program first and here it is enter the item for the first number so i'm just going for 11 32nd 33 again i'm going for 11 and then i'm going 44 as i hit the enter which i will do it uh, this particular iteration for line number 8 to 11 will be executed subsequently whereby these five numbers will be inserted in this array at the zeroth position. Remember the array indexing start from zero but just to well, like to make it feel good I have incremented the value of C plus one that means zero plus one is one but actually inside the loop the value of C is still zero okay because indexing of the array starts from zero. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the five elements has been inserted in the array. And as I hit the enter, then this particular line will pop up. Let me show you. Enter, enter the number to search. So I give the number as 11. And if I hit the enter, the 11 will go to the item. And then it will bring me to the function called linear. And here it is. So it is passing an array as the first parameter and the item that I want to search as my second parameter. Remember, when you are passing an array as a parameter, you have to write the third bracket opening and closing. That will symbolize that this is an array. Just a point to remember. Do not put any numeric value within this third bracket. Just let it be like the box open and the box close. That's it. Okay. Now in the line number 15, when you are giving a call to this function and I'm passing the array, in this case, I will just write the array name, not even third bracket open, third bracket close. But when it will be received by the receiving function, here I have to mention that bracket open, third bracket close, that will symbolize that this particular parameter is an array. And the second argument is referred to the item that I want to search is been stored right over here, okay? And now I'm going for the performance of the iteration because I want to check whether the given item is there in the array or not. And for that reason, I have made use of a counter C and there is another variable called N, which is basically going to be used for dual purpose. Yes, you rightly heard. It is meant for dual purpose. In case if the item is not there, it's like I know the 11 is right over here, right over here. What if I give the value like 99? Well, 99 is not in my array. So naturally, what happens? In the for loop, when the iteration will be going on, ERC, that is ERC 0, that means 11, it's been compared with 11 with that of 99. The match is not found to be true. The counter will go up and increment and it will become from 0, it will become 1, and then it will be 22. Uh, versus 99 that is also not matching then it will go up once again and it will go to the third one 33 versus 99 that is also not matching in this way it will go all down the array in spite of the fact that there will be no search item found so in that case what happened the value of n is still going to be zero and that is what i'm going to return i'm going to return the value of n right over here to the x and x will be having the zero so in case if x is having a value 0, then the if condition is going to be true and it will say search item 99 is not found. So let's go and check it out once again. So as I say 99, it says search item 99 is not found because the n is 0 and the 0 goes to x and x is equals to equals to 0 and this particular statement is found to be true. So that is how 
uh, in case if the search item is not found to be true, in that case, how the iteration is going to work. But what if the item is present? So let's go and check it out once more. I have to run the program once again. So as a fresh execution, I'm doing it. And this time I'm going suppose 11, 22, 33, 11, and 44. Now I'm going to search item is 11. In that case, what happened? Well, ARC is, is 0, and ARC is 0 is 11, and the item is also 11. So the match is found. If the match is found, then the control will go inside the if statement and it will increment the value of 0 from 0, it will increment to 1, and then it will go up to the loop. So again, the counter will increment it and it will become uh, C as 1, and the C1 means this particular row that is 22, 22 is compared with 11, the match is not found to be true. The, con the control will not go inside the if statement, and again, it will go up and it will become as 33, and 33 is also not found to be true. It will go up once again, it will become 11, and hence the match is found to be true. In that case, if condition is going to be true, it will enter the if statement, and the previous value of 1 will now be incremented 2, and then it will go up for the final time, final iteration, which is 44, and that is not going to be true. So the n is going to return me 2. And that 2 will go and store in the variable x. When x is having a value 2, in that case, the if condition is not to be true, it will come right over here. It will say the search item 99 is found two number of times. Okay, so that's how the thing is going to work. Let's go and hit enter and see over here search item 11 is found to be twice, right? So this is how an array, an array is passed an argument and that's how the linear search is going to take place. I hope this particular program helps you to understand how the linear search actually works with making use of a function. And in my next program, I will be talking about the binary search. So thank you very much. Simply keep watching my video. Have a nice time.